Hello, it's your boy Jargunza. The last discussion video I had got a little over, I think, 2,000 views, surprisingly, while I was just ranting about Mortal Kombat and how bad it was. This video is about a particular topic where people are saying that the game would die out when, in, when Tekken 8 comes out. Now, I think a lot of people, when they see my page and they see how much I rage on this, or how much sometimes I like to talk shit, that they think I have the same idea. Um, I don't. I'm just telling you that right now. Will I play Taken 8 when it comes out? Most definitely. I've done the demo. It's so fun. I've, I've already pre-ordered it. I can't wait. I'm not going to stream it at the beginning, but yeah. I've never played Taken before, but this is what you guys need to realize. You think that just because this desync issue is happening and that you're having a bad online experience, that that means it's going to die out? It's not because, you know why, the people who make the game miserable for you are going to play it. And trust when I tell you, they outnumber us. They outnumber the people who actually want to play the game with skill and respect. Come, you know, they outnumber us. And if, even if you think about it, because people want to say, oh, well, Mortal Kombat 1 will die. It got beat by the Game of the Year, um, by Street Fighter 6 at the Game of the Year Award. Street Fighter 6 won Game of the Year. Yes, most definitely. But Street Fighter 6 has been out since June, early June of last year. And as of right now, of January, they just announced that they just sold 3 million copies. It took Mortal Kombat 1 two months to sell 3 million copies. It took Street Fighter 6, 7, and a game award to get 3 million sold in Mortal Kombat. No game of the year in shit content and terrible microtransactions. And they already got 3 million sold. I heard that as of yesterday, they sold, a little, they sold right at 6 million now. I don't know if that's true. I can't find nothing backing that up, but that's what I've been told. I don't think Taken 8 will kill a lot more to Combat 1. I think we'll just see a good vast majority of Taken 8 for a little while. And I think we'll be right back to MK1 by February 14th. And I say that because Peacemaker is coming out. And I know a lot of people are sleeping on Peacemaker, but see, I love Peacemaker, the character. I enjoyed him in the movie, and I enjoyed the show, and I cannot wait. He's my most excited DLC character coming. But my thing is, this idea that Mortal Kombat 1 is going to die. I don't want this game to die. Like, I don't hate this game that much to where I want it to fail. I just want it to get better. I'm hoping for the best. If you just, like, we have Chameleon as a cameo now that, in my opinion, does even in playing fields. Like, I'm practicing Chameleon, and let me tell you, she is a big help to characters like Sub-Zero. They just need to fix this desync issue, nerf Gears, and that's it. I, I am against the idea of nerfs, but that character is so ridiculous. And also, they need to change something about Raiden's, you know, whatever that fucking... What that flying around shit is. That needs to be more punishable. But with Chameleon, I think it is punishable now. You just need to do something about Gears. Those are my only complaints. It's mostly just... It's mostly just the communication that they lack with us. They've been radio silenced with this game because of something with Twitter and since um, Elon Musk took over. And it's ridiculous. Like, as if they don't have Instagram or other face like Facebook. Or make a YouTube video. It's ridiculous to radio silence and the fact that they haven't even acknowledged the desync issue. And they probably will once they show the Peacemaker gameplay. And they have that little um, on the couch staffing with that weird glasses freak and whatnot. And they're going to address the desync issue finally at that moment, probably. Probably. But the radio silence that Netherum has given us is what's affecting this game more than anything. The transactions, you know, the desync issues, stuff like that. Yeah, it's affecting the game. But the main problem of why everyone is trashing and hating on this game 
is because the radio silence we have gotten from NetherRealm. There have never been this radio, radio silence before with any other game. This is the worst that we've ever seen it from them. We've never seen this from them. And I think that is why people hate this game so much. And honestly, I'm not, I don't want to name any names, but I think some of you guys want this to fail. I really think you want this game to fail. I don't want this game to fail. I love Mortal Kombat. I want this game to get better. This gameplay is the most fun gameplay that we've had in a long time. I enjoy the gameplay. This has potential to be the best Mortal Kombat if they just capitalize off it correctly. Well, it's 6 a.m. in the morning. Uh, I'm going to go eat something. Y'all take care.